up guys today we have trip to the thrift number 33 we're gonna be going around town to a couple shops with my parents because they're into that stuff now so uh, yeah here we go with the video be on the lookout for some stuff we got an Air Jordan 10 t-shirt in here for only three bucks goodwill with that wings logo on the back in red too bad it's a 3x and here we have a Nike Boston University Number 33 shirt with that Jordan logo. Pretty crazy, but the paint's already coming off, so. We have a size medium Ruka t-shirt in here, and this might be a must-cop because it looks kind of new, and it feels really comfortable, so I'm probably gonna get this for the summer. Got a casual Coogee Australia t-shirt right here for only $3. A little wrinkled, but still in good condition. I mean, it's crazy the brands that you can find at the thrift. You just have to look, and it's just the look of the draw, really, guys. So, should I buy this t-shirt? Because I know Kanye wears this kind of stuff. GK. So we got this pretty dope Los Angeles Kings like tank top thingy from Forever 21 for like three bucks. So I might cop this as well. Even though I don't really listen to Fall Out Boy, this is a pretty dope tank top for three dollars. Steal. Come to this Goodwill guys to get it. That is a very nice windbreaker for only four dollars. Wow. It's beautiful. All right, so we got some pretty good cops in there. We got two uh, t-shirts. So that was a pretty good deal. Like $3 each. Alright, so we're downtown now and we're at this new Salvation Army that I've never been to before. It looks pretty big in here, so we're going to check it out and see what they have. They got these freaking Timberland loafers, which would be a great shoe for the summer. But I just don't like how it doesn't have any laces. Alright, so as far as the hats go, you got this super beat up vintage Cowboys hat. It's really, really beat up though. They got this freaking dull freaking Grape 5 windbreaker right here. That's pretty amazing. I have a windbreaker that looks just like it, but this one looks pretty cool. All right, right next to each other, we got a Young and Reckless t-shirt for $2. Too bad it's a size large. But right next to that t-shirt was a Calvin Klein all-white v-neck. Pretty sexy, medium, body fit. So I'm going to look swole for the summertime. Five bucks, maybe. Maybe I'll cop this. I don't know yet. Maybe. We'll see. I think one of the upsides about going to the thrift is that if you want to look for a college t-shirt, well, you just got to look for that college color. For instance, burnt orange, you got the Texas Longhorns, boom. Or, for instance, maroon, you have A&M, boom. A&M sucks, by the way. I'm never going to go to school there. Sometimes when I get tired of flipping through every single t-shirt, I just start brushing them off like this. And I start looking at everything real quick, so that way I don't have to go through every single t-shirt. That's a new thrift tactic for you guys to use. You guys stepping in this Goodwill, see if they have anything. Any heat in here? All right, got this super dope University of Texas shirt right here in this all white colorway with that orange hits. An amazing colorway, very clean design. Three bucks. Hey, so low key, I kind of want this so I can be like Ron Burgundy in my YouTube videos. We got this freaking beautiful, beautiful Burgundy Obey shirt. Seven dollars, size medium. Probably gonna cop. And then we have this wolf T-shirt right here, Snow Wolf. Guys, okay, so I found this awesome t-shirt it says goody on it and i was looking at the tag and it says american apparel american apparel usually means that somebody has their own clothing brand so i looked up goody and i remember timothy delaghetto usually reps his brand so an amazing find at this thrift store definitely going to be rocking this this summer an amazing find for only five dollars wow i'm pretty excited that i found that goody t-shirt it fits amazing and I tweeted to Tim Delaghetto and he was all haha nice. So that was pretty good. That was pretty cool of him to tweet me back. But yeah, I'm probably gonna start buying their clothing. So go check it out, goody. Oh, so I found this Rockets jersey in a kid size medium. Yao Ming baby duck right here. Number 11. Yeah, boy. I'm into the crazy good world right now. This vintage Texas Longhorns snapback. So this is definitely going in the restoration bucket. Minnesota Wild. This is a sexy vintage hat by Logo 7. NHL baby. I got this uh, skinny girl band uniform. I'll do uh, 75 shipped. I got this uh, kind of brand new LSU visor. It still has the tag and everything, but to be honest, who still wears visors other than the coach? As we got a Spazike in here, it's pretty amazing, honestly. It looks kind of brand new, to be honest, with that patent leather too. So amazing. I gotta find the other shoe though. It's freaking crazy. You have a USA champion. Found these KDs right here. Pretty nice shoe. Very, very nice colorway. All right, what's up guys? So we are now back at the crib and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up after this long day of thrifting. Make sure you guys stay till the end of the video so I can show you guys how I got these boys for only $11. 
yeah, stay till the end of the video to hear the full story. So first off, I want to start off with the t-shirts I got at the thrift store today for steals. Alright, so the first t-shirt I got is this Ruka t-shirt, and it's just an all great t-shirt, very comfortable, kind of slim fitting, kind of long, very amazing condition, and they only charged me three bucks better than paying $25 at the mall. Steal. The next shirt I got was this semi, like, I guess, tank top or muscle shirt. I don't know what you would refer this to, but it is this Los Angeles Kings muscle shirt, and this is from Forever 21. You guys can see the tag right there, NHL as well. And they only charged me three bucks for this one, very slim fitting, so it's gonna make me look buff in the summertime. Gotta hit up the gym still though. The next shirt that I found at the Salvation Army was this all white simple Calvin Klein t-shirt very very nice t-shirt very comfortable very slim fitting and just a cool tee to rock in the summer they charged me a little bit more for this but it was five bucks but I mean for Calvin Klein I mean come on five bucks hashtag my Calvin's going on with the thrift store t-shirts it's gonna start getting a little bit more expensive so hang on there guys we have this Obey t-shirt this is an amazing t-shirt I love the all-over print in that maroon colorway right there with the print obey going across the chest. It'll look really dope with a black snapback or even the snap that I'm wearing right now, my Mighty Ducks one. This was a little bit more expensive. It was $7, but I mean guys, for obey, I mean, come on, it's obey. It's better than $25, $30 at, the, at Zoomies or wherever. I mean, but thrift stores, I, I do believe that thrift stores should not be charging that much, but I mean, they're starting to catch on, so whatever though, $7, still cheaper than buying it at the mall. And for the last t-shirt, this has to be my favorite pickup of today. This is this goodies t-shirt right here with the palm trees. That print is just so beautiful. So when I first saw this t-shirt, I saw American Apparel right there. I knew it had to be somebody's own brand and I remember Timothy Delaghetto talking about goodies. And this shirt is just an amazing fit, very good quality. Shout out to you over there at Goodies. Shout out to Tim Delaghetto for repping them. And it was only five bucks. Five bucks is a little bit more than three bucks, but it's only two dollars, so. But anyways, looks pretty much brand new. Amazing steal, my favorite t-shirt of today. And you better bet that I'm gonna be wearing this a lot in the summertime. So next up, I'm gonna continue with the vintage hat finds of the day. So first up, I found my future school, the University of Texas, in this kind of vintage snapback right here. It needs a restoration, so you guys bet I'm gonna be throwing this in the restoration basket with that long horns on the back. Pretty dope hat and it's gonna be pretty cool to wear it in the summertime after I restore it. So there you go. Next hat I got is this Minnesota Wild hat. This is a very sexy hat, wild and out. And uh, yeah, just a uh, Logo 7 NHL hat right there. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but it's gonna look fly in the summertime after I restore this hat. And for the last hat of the day, you guys might get a little grossed out, but I'm just gonna throw this in the washer and clean it up. So you got this vintage USA champion snapback right here. In my opinion, this was a very good buy because it was only like a dollar. So I'm just gonna throw it in the washer, maybe put some cardboard to get that standing up straight, and it's gonna look pretty fly. But yeah, vintage Olympic team, freaking snapback, amazing find. Steal for a dollar. And now, what you guys have all been waiting for, these Varsity Red Sixes in amazing condition. Well guys, actually, I mean, these boys are in really, really, really good condition. And for 11 bucks, I mean, you cannot, you can just simply not go wrong. But wait until you guys see the other shoe. So, the other shoe looks like this. Yeah, they kind of try to do like a, custom I guess and they have like some silver gray on that tongue they do not include laces and they try to like paint the jump man hold on let me change the lighting and they try to paint that jump man like a purple color right there so that kind of looks bad and neither of the shoes have insoles but I'm gonna tell you guys how I got them for $11 so this is what happened I was walking in Goodwill and I was like I've not found anything all day. I'm hungry for them J's. I need them J's. And I look inside this old, old, old Mexican lady's basket and she has these just sitting in there nicely. And I'm like, man, that would be a steal of a deal if only they were authentic. So I checked them out. I was like, hmm, yeah, they look pretty authentic and stuff like that. And then I was like, and then I was like, hey dad, um, I don't really know Spanish, so could you go tell that lady? if I could see her shoes and maybe I was gonna try to barter with her to see if I could buy them off of her. It all started like this. Because my dad went up to the lady, right? And he was like, 
excuse me, ma'am, in Spanish, because I don't really know Spanish. So he's like, excuse me, ma'am. And then she like didn't hear him. So he goes, excuse me, ma'am. And she didn't hear him again. So she goes, excuse me, ma'am, right in her face. And this lady goes like this. So he goes in front of her face again. Excuse me, ma'am. And she goes like this. A little, ugh. That lady who was rude as hell, but I needed them J's. Shout out to you, dad. So anyways, my dad gets in her face again. Not like in her face, not like, hey, give me them J's. No, but he was like real polite about it. So he was like, excuse me, ma'am. Do you think that uh, my son can see those, those shoes? And she goes, well, why would he need to see the shoes if they're mine? So I was like, oh my gosh, this freaking lady. Are you freaking serious? Like, that's so rude. How the heck are you just gonna say that? So then I say, well, you know what, Dad? Tell her that I'm going to give her money for the shoes. I was like, you know what, Dad? I don't even care, Dad. I was like, just just give her 20 bucks. I was like, I don't care. I'll take the shoes and I'll go buy them. Just give her 20 bucks for the shoes. And he was like, no, 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 no. Let's give her $10 for the shoes. So he goes, can we give you $10 for the shoes? And then she was like, mm, okay. And then my mom goes, oh, well, I don't have any cash on me. I just have my card. So my mom leaves. My, dad, my mom goes and gets the cash from the ATM. She comes back and she's like, well, do you still want those shoes? And I was like... Damn, they have no insoles, they are colored, and I gotta buy laces for the other one. So I'm gonna need to restore these shoes a little bit, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. Just get them. So my dad told the lady, hey, well, can we buy them off of you? And she was like, mijo, if they catch us, they'll kick us out. So my dad was like, are you freaking serious? So I have video of that right now. So play the video. Let's just have them. Okay, so now that this lady realizes that we're gonna give her the money, my dad's like, okay, look, lady, is there some way that we can sneak the money to you? That way you don't have to get caught and you don't have to get kicked out. So the lady goes, hey, put it in my basket. So my dad freaking puts in $5 in her basket. We leave with the shoes. And it's all good because I got them for $11. They charged me $6 over there because I guess there was no laces and crap. But he only gave the lady five bucks. She's cool. I'm cool. We're cool. And I got these boys right here. Size 12. So uh, shout out to you Retro Snickers. You're going to teach me how to restore these. <laughs> shout out to you boy. But uh, yeah, I'll probably hit you up with the text later. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Trip to the thrift number 33. And yeah, more coming. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you like my pickups for today. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. Instagram is Tim the Actor. Twitter is Tim underscore the actor. Snapchat is Tim the Actor. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace, homies. Oh, also, go subscribe to my gaming channel. It's uh, the Toad Guy, and that was my original gamer tag for my Xbox 360, so I just put it as my channel name. So, yeah, go subscribe to that because there will be more videos coming your way. I'm going to be hustling with the videos this summer. So, yeah. Bye, guys.